Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Jeffrey. This is the Inquisitive Universe, and today we are going to be talking MediaTek, specifically the MediaTek Dimensity 7300. It's new SOC that's around. And you know, the SOC came around, and I was, I was looking for information about this SOC. I was looking for information, and then I finally found the information, and I was like, no way. You see, MediaTek are one of those companies eh, that you want to support, you want to root for them, you want them to win, and then they come and then they do funny stuff. And then you are like, oh God. From rebranding old SOCs to just basically renaming. Okay, we can forgive the rebrand self, we can forgive it, but that renaming from Ultra to Ultimate, from Ultimate to Ultra, like what are these people doing? And they've compounded issues. So let's get into the video straight away. So the, the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 is a new SOC that is supposed to replace, or rather it's a successor to the older Dimensity 7200 from last year. So a lot of people have been like, okay, this is the quintessential MediaTek mid-range. So it's supposed to, you know, like at least it's an upgrade now, so it's supposed to have a bit of an, even if it's, even if it's just a bit, eh? just give us decent upgrades and stuff like that. Let's see. It is not so. and. For comparison, I decided, fine, I'm not going to go outside MediaTek to go and pick another SOC. I'm going to pick the old one. I'm going to pick the 7200, the one that is supposed to replace. And then let's have a side-by-side -side analysis course. So now let's first things first, let's go into performance. Now, performance is very important. That's the first thing I always look at. You people know me by now. I'm, I'm big about performance because I like to play games. I like to handle apps and stuff. It's the performance that will let you know how well these things perform. Now, this SOC, uses four ARM Cortex A78 CPU cores. Now, running at 2.5 gigahertz. Now, there's nothing wrong with going with the A78, A78 CPU cores with flagship once upon a time. If you check an SOC like the Snapdragon 865, which is a flagship once upon a time. Was it 865? Yes, I think it's the 865. You see that they use A78. Even the 860 and the 870, I think they all use ARM Cortex A78 CPU cores. A78 and then four A78s and then four A55s. If you check the predecessor, the old one, the old war horse, the 7200, you'd find that they use the more modern ARM Cortex A715. ARM Cortex A715 from, ARM, the, from the current ARM V9 generation. That's what the old one uses. So they use A710, A715, I beg your pardon, two A715s and then six A. 510s which is incredible like how can the older soc be using the more modern the more advanced cpu core whilst the new soc is using the older one from the arm v8 generation from the arm v8 generation that we are trying to leave behind and we're trying to move over to the arm v9 generation and then they brought a new soc like, people are going to come now and think, ah, A7300, of course, it's number is higher than the A7200, so let's port over to the A7300. And then, if you open the hood of the SOC, you now see stuff like this. Incredible. So let's move on, let's talk about the, um, the, the GPUs. Now, um, the, the 7300 uses a Mali G615 MP2. Whilst the 7200 uses a Mali G610 MP4. Now, I really don't know the wisdom of using only, I mean, the G615 is slightly better than the G610 when it comes to graphics, but GPU cores are important. You see those MPDs and MP that in front, you see those cores, more cores equal better performance. You could have a better GPU, but then you only put two cores on it, and then the one that is slightly less powerful, you're gonna give it like four or five cores. It's going to outperform the one that is supposedly better, and I think that's what's, hap what's happening in this case right here. So now let's move on. Let's check. Um, let's check benchmarks. Now on an two two, you would find out that the older seven thousand two hundred is actually better with seven hundred and thirteen k one hundred and ten compared to the 7300 that has 634k you know i can't make this thing up i can't make this 
I can't make this shit up, really. I can't. So when it comes to single core performance on, on Geekbench, you can see clearly that in single core, when you pick one A17 against one A78, the A7, uh, sorry, the one A750 versus one A78, the A715 is obviously better, 1187 against 1043. Although, for some reason, when you put four of them together and it's only CPU performance, they tend to they slightly outperform the 7200. But that one is only CPU, you know, just like, um, that's just for that one. Let's just, let's just leave that one behind. Now, when, you, when it comes to like compute GPU, which I got from Nano Review, the 7200 is, it, it outperforms the, the 7300 when it comes to compute GPU, um, 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 what's it called now, graphics benchmark. So basically what this means is that when it comes to performance, the 7300 isn't better than the 7200. In fact, it's a slight step backwards in terms of performance, which for me is really, 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 really sad. It's really, really sad, honestly. Uh, I, 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 it's why I'm, I, I started this video by saying sometimes you want to root for MediaTek, but they, they didn't do stuff like this and then you are like scratching your head and you're like, what? So let's move on, let's talk about, um, for AI, um, the 7300 actually has a, a better AI engine, the APU 655 compared to the 650 on the 7200. And then also, uh, we're going to move on now to RAM and storage. But when it comes to RAM and storage, they're basically tied. It's the same thing. LPDDR5 RAM running at uh, 3200 megahertz, then UFS 3.1 storage. Then when you go to the... Um, when you go to the um, uh, ISP, that's the image signal processor, they both use the same imaging um, image uh, um, SOS, uh, processor, sorry. And then you, you see that they both support 1080p displays, that's they can both run 1080p displays. They both support a maximum of 200 megapixels, uh, 200 megapixel sensors, cameras, and then they both record 4K video at 30 FPS. So, they're both tied. Yeah, if we move on, we'll go to connectivity. You can see that they both support 4G CAT 21, and they both support 5G. They both support Wi-Fi 6. They both support um, Bluetooth 5, although the 7300 supports Bluetooth 5.4, while the 7200 supports Bluetooth 5.3. But there's really not much of a difference between 5.4 and 5.3. 5.4 is just, you know, a consolidation, efficiency, battery usage, and all that compared to the 5.3. It's mostly the same speeds. So, that's, I, I don't, I mean, for everything else, basically, the 7300 is the 7200 with an older CPU core to drive performance, A78. And I think, I think I saw Mr. Who's the Boss talk about it in his, in his video when he was analyzing or reviewing the uh, Nothing CMF phone, the one that just came out. So, Nothing phone, uh, actually using this 7300. Now, mind you, there's nothing wrong with the 7300. I think I need to get this out. There's nothing wrong with the 7300. It's a decent SOC. It's a decent one. It's a very decent SOC. But compared to the 7200, ha, you're supposed to be, when, when a new SOC comes out, it's supposed to be a, a leap forward, you know, in terms of performance, in terms of graphics, in terms of connectivity, image processing. This one is the same as the 7200, but it goes a slight step back in performance. So why did they even bother in the first place? Why? Why is there 7300? They should have just named it 7100 or 7150. Then it would make sense. Or 7199. And we we'll know that it's on the same level or just 7200 lights. That would make more sense. But 7,300, and we know how much people, people are with numbers. They don't really want to open the hood of an SOC to see what's under. They want to just go by the name. Oh, 7,300, it's better than 7,200 now. I know because I used to do this in the past. So that's, that's the big gist about the 7,300, guys. That's it. That's the big gist though. So yeah, if you, if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and send the news out. Because it's small actions like this that helps small channels like mine grow and, you know, helps people to see my videos so that more people will be able to see stuff like this and see what these companies are doing. Like, ouch, 7,300. I'll see you in the next video.